Atlanta artist Hassani Salehi, who received his BFA in painting from SCAD in 2015, grew up in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. His show, Banana Republic, which was displayed at the SCAD Museum of Art, examines the history and culture of the Caribbean. Salehi's exhibition looks at the food and native vegetation of his homeland through the societal shifts caused by European colonization and the slave trade. Banana Republic was in the SCAD Museum of Art's Emerging Artists Annex, near the front door of the museum. This is the only area of the museum where the artworks are for sale, and the rack card lists the price of each piece. Natural light spills in through the glass front doors and glass entrance wall to the room. Salehi's pieces surround the room, with the two largest canvases centered on opposite walls facing each other. Smaller works are matted and hang alone in their own wall space or are grouped together in collections. The exhibition is by the bathrooms, creating a viewing experience punctuated with disinterested foot traffic, toilet flushes, and slurps from the drinking fountain. Salehi's work is made from a variety of mediums on canvas and paper, including charcoal, marker, acrylic, and oil paints, latex, and in one piece, found objects. The pieces share a deep teal green, more prominent in some works than others, like palm leaves or the waters of the Caribbean. Most subjects are drawn in simplistic abstract shapes with great detail, and some pieces include words written in marker or paint, suggesting a childlike quality Salehi likely remembers from his youth. Guatemala is scrawled in acrylic paint on the bottom of the burlap in homegrown, and the titles of other works are painted directly on the canvases in wobbly handwriting. Immediately upon entering the space, homegrown, the only piece in the exhibition that spills off the wall, draws my attention. A canvas of oversized, crudely drawn charcoal cotton blossoms and harvesting implements rises from an acrylic stained burlap bag hanging down the wall and onto the floor, as if tufts are being collected right from the field to fill the sack. Unlike homegrown, the other works in the exhibition stay within the boundaries of their canvases, though most of the objects depicted are larger than life. Salehi's A Quarter Piece centers around a cooked chicken quarter the size of a cow's hind leg. Grains of rice the size of fingers scatter below. Smaller pieces, like the wild banana and guanabana, feature fruit drawn more to scale. Chicken and rice are the only items of food featured in the exhibition other than the many images of fruit, and their large size reveals their importance in the culture of those living on the island. Though rice is now part of daily meals in the Caribbean culture, it was brought to the island by the European colonists who oppressed the indigenous natives. In a quarter piece, mostly illegible words peek through the mantles of paint, like the layers of Caribbean and personal history within the artwork itself. I feel Salehi's pieces are successful in expressing the emotions he has about his culture and its roots. His art celebrates his upbringing with bright colors and subjects, giving the pieces a fun and childlike quality. However, the paintings show the lasting effects of slavery and colonization by focusing on the influences of the people who invaded his homeland. Throughout the exhibition, Salehi's work shows that though the history of the Caribbean was often violent and oppressive, he is proud to reveal the strength of his ancestors.